my name is Peach, let me not waste your time. Today I'll be showing you how to make trails in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get started. Start off, I'm in Fusion, and all I have is a background connected to a merge, connected to a media out. I'm going to add my shape. So the shape I have over here is just an ellipse shape, and then I have it connected to a transform node. So I'm just going to do that real quick. So hit type in shift space to open your inspector. And right here, you're going to type in S ellipse. You know, put that down there. Then you type in S render and put that there. So now you have your circle shape. And then I'm just going to add a transform node from our toolbar over here. And then we can have our shape. And then we can do our animation. So at the beginning, I'm going to have it be centered there. I'm actually going to put the size down to 0.5. And then I'm going to go at the end of the composition and keyframe that again. And I'm also going to go in the middle of the composition and uh, keyframe that that over there. I want to have this at 0.75. So I'm going to right side and then have this value of keyframe over here and be at. 0.25 and as well as you think at the end right there and then i'm gonna have control a s in our spline tab and i have our spline just like this flattened out in the middle so now we have our animation smooth going side to side all right next thing i'm gonna do is gonna do the trails so the first trail method i'm gonna use is the duplicate node so i'm just gonna type in shift space type in duplicate and make sure it's that one with the plus and the squares right there it would add it to our timeline and we're gonna view it by hitting two and make sure it's in our viewer right here and then we can put down how many copies we want behind our animation so let's put five and then let's put our time offset to one and so if we play it back we can see that we have our node moving and this is makes makes it something a little further actually let me substitute it with our other animation over here so now we have something like this and let's see how it goes now you see it's going pretty fast everything uh, shows up and that's our first method of doing trails but you can see there's a big gap in between each of these and we don't really want that so what we can do in order to fix that is we can put motion blur on our transform right here so i'm going to go to our settings i'm going to turn on motion blur and turn this to transform tab and you're going to start off with something like this and you're going to turn that quality up a little bit more so i go around eight and we're going to put our shutter up to 360 and then our center bias uh, to whichever side we need i think i'm just going to keep it in the middle for now and then what else i'm going to add behind this is a bitmap node so type in shift space bitmap add it here i'm going to connect the duplicate to the bitmap i'm going to view it here and then we're going to crush these levels down so if we put the high and we crush this all the way down this white is going to be solid everything is white it's gonna be solid as you can see like that all the way down just around there maybe just a little bit off of zero and there we go we have that and then we're gonna add a background node plug that bitmap into our background node and it's connected to our main composition just like this and now we have our shape let's change this color like this and then we have that and now you can see our trail like that and yeah now we have that that's our first method the next method we are going to do is the custom trail effect. So we take motion blur off our transform right now. All right, for this method, I'm gonna have a trail behind the animation over here, but it's gonna be a different color. So what we need to do, we're gonna add a merge node. I'm gonna put it right by our animation right here. Then I'm gonna add a time speed node, time speed right there, add it to our timeline. And then we are going to have a background node and bring this down here, we have it here. So I'm gonna connect the transform one with our animation to our background node. We can do that there and we can change the color to whatever we want. And let's Let's go, let's say like 0.66 for our value and then also zero saturation. So it's the gray. And then we can connect that to our time speed right there. And then we're gonna put our delay to one on our time speed. So it goes one frame before. And then we're gonna connect this to our merge node right there. And then we're also going to hit control T on our merge to switch the inputs. So the gray is on the bottom. And now if we play this back, you can see at the beginning, there is no picture. That's because in our time speed, we're going one frame back. And in our background node, it only lasts from frame zero to frame 47 not negative one frame. So what we need to do is change this global in and out so it is able to do that. So let's do like negative one, or we can put a number that's higher, like negative five, and that'll extend that composition more so it can exist before the plane happens. And we also probably gonna do this for our S render because we need to do that. And then now we have our shape existing before uh, frame zero, and now we have our trails animation like this. And if you want to have another trail, we can just duplicate what we have here. Control C, Control V, and then put this merge node below here. Connect this time speed to the merge two. Connect our transform with the animation to the background node. We can change the color again. Let's say uh, 0.33. There we go and we view it here and then make sure our time speed is another frame back so 0.2 and flip this input over here and so now we have our animation with our trail and we can see probably better with the black background so now we have our custom trails just like that so that is our second method for doing trails in the resolve and now i want to do the last method so let's bring this over make a pipe node so hold all and then where the lines are and then click uh, on the lines and then we have this little pipe over here and then click that off and now this will be a nice little group that we could have over here and so last method is 
uh, going to be using the echo node. So the echo node is actually found in Reactor. If you don't know how to download Reactor, I'll put a video over here on how to download it and how to install tools. But basically, we're going to open up our Reactor. Let's go down to scripts. Let's go and open up Reactor over here. Right, update if you haven't opened it in a while. It was for me. All right, from here, once our Reactor opens up, we're going to go in the search bar, type in echo, and make sure we click that check mark on to install the echo node. You might need to restart uh, your DaVinci Resolve. It's not there, but if it is, you can hit shift space, type in echo, and it will show up here, and we can add it to our composition. Then we're going to add, connect our transform one to the echo, and then we can connect it to our merge over here. So what we're going to do is we'll change the echo frames to one, and we're going to do the subframes up to maybe about five, and then now we can see uh, we should have our little trail over here and if we want to make it longer we could make or have these bumps go away we can increase the amount of subframes that we have here and it'll start to smooth that out but for the most part that is how you do it and each method can has their own look to it this little echo has a little shorter trail uh, than before but that that is how we would do echo in davinci resolve if you're interested in learning about other motion graphic techniques in davinci resolve click this video right here otherwise subscribe and have a good day